Hey guys, uh, this is Scott Bradley from On Your Side Equipment Consulting. I'm just out messing around with uh, a Trimble GPS system sitting in a Quad Track 580. Uh, I've done tons with the John Deere GPS uh, as a salesman for nine years, but I've never really had the chance to sit down and really mess around with the case stuff to figure it out. So I'm just doing a couple videos just on the you know the easy stuff that I've learned going through it myself just sitting in here for about 40 minutes. Um, I went through a lot more but I'll, I'll go through the basics. So basically when you start up you got your run screens here, you got your backs. So when you go back you got all your options. Uh, a lot of stuff you're going to be doing is either your toolbox, your run screen, uh, of course your SCV valves, uh, performance, your diagnostics, data management where you can delete fields uh, that you don't need, stuff like that, calibration of the screen, ISO bus if you're running a ISO bus unit, and work condition. Uh, so I'm going to go to the run page. I've set up my run pages. These were all default. I changed run 5. Uh, I set it up so I can see my GPS heading, latitude, longitude, uh, operator, farm, field, task. Um, because you always want to change your field when you change your GPS line because it will save for every field that you go to. So that's my run 5. So this is just a customer's unit I'm using so he's just got his field of P's so I'll leave it there. Now when I go to run 3 this is where uh, usually your D GPS defaults to on these. So the basics on here is obviously your auto guidance start. If you uh, go that, you have to accept the risks. Um, so if we go auto, it says check the following park brake, seat switch, allowed vehicle speed, steering valve controller. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not moving. I just have the key turned on, so obviously it's not going to work. Now here you've got your swath select and your swath one recorder type. Um, these are the main things you're going to use. When you're in a field, you want to select which swath you want. So you can either go through your list where it lists everything in that field, uh, all the previous tracks you've made. If you click on it, you can go map. It'll show you the map of the field you're in and you can toggle through your uh, settings here. Like there's heading 10 and it'll change uh, whichever one it chooses. It changes to uh, a blue color. So you'd have to zoom in. Um, I can go layer and I can go zoom in manually and do that and then if I want to do that or I can go edit name change the name of one uh, that I'm on so I can go edit change the name and type in a name for your type you can go straight track so if I choose straight I can hit mark A drive to my spot and mark my B or I can choose manual B Manual B, it asks you to choose your latitude, um, which is why I put it on run 5 here, so I can see my latitude if I want. You can also, I'm just going to cancel this, you can do circle, curve, spiral, field. But just on the straight, what most guys are going to do, you can mark your A at the spot you're at, and you can mark your B if you want. So I can go mark B, and I'll say you must drive further. Fair enough. If I go heading, I can mark A, and then I can set a heading of which degree I want to go. So let's say I want to go 90 degrees. Do you want to change the swath? Yes. There's my line. 90 degrees. Done. That is about it on here. Oh, except for this. Your map. I found this. So you can go in here. Go to 45 or a 20 degree, whichever way you want to do it. That's it for the basics on there.